All right, so we're going to dive right into loading um, repeaters into your Baofeng radio. So first thing you want to do is go to frequency, frequency mode, mode. Um, with the VFO button. And then uh, you want to have your uh, information for your, that repeater readily available. I usually go to Google, type in my local area, and, and then put repeater after that. And the first thing that usually pops up is something from repeaterbook.com. I click on that, and it shows me a whole list of repeaters in my area. And then I just pick the one that's uh, probably nearest to where I'm at. So we're going to go ahead and enter the area that we want to uh, look for a repeater in, and we're just going to type repeaters after that in the Google search bar. And then typically the first link that pops up, you want to look for uh, repeaterbook.com. Uh, so you click that link, it's going to take you over to it, this page right here, and it's, it's going to list all the local repeaters in, in your area. So you just from there pick the repeater that you want. I want this specific repeater right here. And uh, click on the frequency link. All the information you need to know is on this page for each repeater. However, if you want to get more detailed information on that specific repeater, just click on the frequency. So it's going to load up the page for that specific repeater and here it is and then uh, we're gonna look at the frequency that's the listen frequency and then look at the offset which is positive and then the next piece of information that we need is the tone and uh, also known as the PL tone and those are pretty much the two um, bits of information that you need to extract off of this page here so once you've got that information, usually the first frequency that, or the frequency that's listed for that repeater is the listed frequency, and or sorry, listen frequency, and I want to type that in. One four seven two one zero. Okay, and then from there, hit menu, menu twenty seven, memory channel, and I memory want it to be thirty eight. So I'm going to hit, memory. it says receiving memory, uh, and I hit menu. So receiving memory is uh, the listen frequency. From here, I'm going to change a few settings. Menu. Offset frequency for two meters, which that frequency is in two meters. You want the offset to be 600 kilohertz. Okay. For 440, it's going to be five megahertz. Menu. Okay, so we're going to change that. Offset frequency. Zero, 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 six, hundred. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, SFTD. That's your frequency direction. Okay, so next to the uh, listen frequency, it usually shows you your offset. Menu. Frequency so direction. So this one just so happens to be positive. Confirm. I'm going to hit confirm. And then I'm going to go to menu 13, which is T transmit CTCSS. Okay, that's your tone. Okay, once you find your tone in that information on the website, you're going to enter that. And mine is 131.8 hertz. Confirm. Confirm. All right, now I'm going to exit. And then from here, I'm going to change the frequency to my transmit frequency, okay? So I just add 600 kilohertz because it's a positive offset. So we're going to type in 1, one four, 4, 7, seven eight, 8, 1, one zero. 0, memory channel, okay? And we want to save it under the same channel as the receive frequency. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. Notice how it said transmitting memory. Okay, so that's how you know you had that set up right. Now we're going to go over channel mode. to channel mode. We are going to type in Zero, three, eight. channel 38. Okay, and it shows that listen frequency. And now when you key it up, I'm going to change to high power here. When I key it up, you'll notice that uh, the frequency is going to change and it's going to change to that transmit frequency. And you should hear kickback from that repeater. That's the repeater identifying itself in Morse code. And 
that's it. That's how to manually enter a repeater into your Baofeng.